How would you sum up running a 200 mile race? Running a 200 mile race is one of the toughest things that you're ever going to do mentally. Is there a medic here? You have to tell yourself, even though I'm suffering right now, I'm gonna have to do this for at least three more days. Triple Crown being all three 200s, Bigfoot, uh, Tahoe, and uh, Moab. And Moab's actually 240 miles. So, you know, it's 640 miles in three races uh, in about two and a half months. That's an outlier, right? It's, 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 we're pushing boundaries at this point, right? We're, we're starting to say like, oh, let's do 200, let's do 240 miles. You know, what can the body handle? Bigfoot is, is a real mountain race. Uh, a lot of single track, uh, very little road sections, um, very little asphalt. Um, it's deep in the Cascade Mountains where there's just really no civilization. Remember, you, you, you didn't feel good, then you went okay. Well, kind of okay. But he's going like way faster than me, not feeling good. I know, he's making really good time for how bad he's going. Dude, it's nighttime. You start, you'll come back. So you have thrown up? I've thrown up like five times. Something turning, first we're on fire, but then you So I grew out about 20 miles northwest of Smithfield. It's, a, it's the last town in Utah before you get to Idaho. And then I moved to Smithfield and just in this group of houses over here. I live there. It's about 20 minutes north of Logan and of Ultra. And then Ultra is 
just over there in the haze. I just love this valley. There's so many trails to run in. It's amazing. For it all, we all believe in something. I believe in singing. I'll build these walls to know I need to break them. Down to the water, down to the soul, down to the devil to watch him float and die. No, oh, whoa. Being a new dad and you know Sarah and I were only two years married so being newlyweds and having a new child really makes me as a father and a husband check my life and make sure that I'm living as an example. This is our closet but it's uh, basically my gear room. Well, before product comes out I I get the shoe, I run in it, see where it breaks down first, if it breaks down, then give feedback to the research and development team. So my closet, you know, is just chuck full of 40 plus pairs of shoes. I got some here, I got some in this rack, I got some on the top. It's much more than what my wife even has. <laughs> Mike is a super humble, super um, friendly, always has a smile on his face. Uh, enjoys um, life, enjoys running. You can see he's passionate about the sport. He's passionate about uh, the adventure of the sport and just being around uh, the ultra scene. Yeah, so it's been my knee all day. For the past like five hours it's been that. And just like walking, running, anything. Or like push off my toes and kill that. Coming back and going down again. So swing it down. All day I've been having IT issues. Yeah. And that recently, the past two hours went away. Yeah. But now I just have extreme pain in whatever this is. All right, Mike, give me a rundown. How are you feeling right now? Oh, okay. <laughs> my legs and my IT band hurts a lot. Good job. Like, you too. I'm exhausted. And it's only halfway. <laughs> you take a rubber band and you just uh, you pull it hard and it's just gonna it's just gonna snap. But if you take a, a rubber band and you slowly stretch it out and stretch it out and stretch it out, 
it won't snap, but it'll eventually stretch out. That's a very good uh, similarity to um, your first 200 into your third 200. And something you saw might grow exponentially be from one to the next. There's a lot more patience and, um, and thinking about strategic hiking a lot more in a 200 than there is going to be in a 100. The running, the sleeping, the running, training for that really did pay off because you have to sleep at these 200 mile races. And when you wake up, you have to keep moving even if your body isn't ready for it. It hurts to walk more than it hurts to run, but I'm just exhausted, so it's hard to run. We're here at mile 103, uh, Shea Mountain. Mike just got here, it's 9.28. Um, he's planning on sleeping for about an hour and 10 minutes. It's feeling pretty good. They just came up a pretty steep climb and it sounds like that was pretty rough but but he's doing great still about three hours ahead of schedule What's your general consensus about a 200 or doing the triple count? Is it a healthy thing? Is it healthy? <laughs>